Welcome back to my channel. I am Matt Caster Mage, and it's time for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is Tuesday, 21st of September. And before we jump into things here, I wanted to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and I'm doing a massive giveaway at the end of this month for four World Championship decks, so you're going to want to become a patron if you haven't become one already. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link and a Your Playmat affiliate link with a discount code for 10% off. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content on a daily basis so thank you very much for supporting the channel okay let's get moving and starting the list off here with Mirari's wake from conspiracy this reprint is down 12.76 percent from 12.77 to 11 dollars and 14 cents our next loser of the day is boros charm this is the secret layer version of this card down 13.20 percent from 841 to seven dollars and 30 cents and it looks like we have a reserve list card on our loser section today. It is Oath of Ghouls from Exodus, and this rare is down 13.39% from 15.31 to 13.26. And we have Worldfire from Magic 2013, and it continues to go down, and it's down again today, 14%, from 19.50 to 16.77. And I really hope you guys didn't buy this at an all-time high. Next card on our list today is Pilatus Moors from... Legends. This Legends Rare is down 17.65% from 64.70 to 53.28. And our next loser of the day is Howl Pack Resurgence from Shadows over in Estrada. This Uncommon is down 37.24% from 3.33 to 209. And our last loser of the day is Psionic Entity from Legends. And this Legends Rare is down 47.86% from 3044 to 1587. Now it's time we take a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are starting at list off here with Felden's Cane from Antiquities. This Antiquities Uncommon is up 9.23% from 1506 to 1645. Now, there was a Chronicles version of this printed as well, and it's a lot cheaper for about 21 cents currently on the market. This card did have a print run of 93,000 copies from Antiquities. And our next card on the list is a reserve list card. It is Rasputin Dream Weaver from Legends. And this Legends Rare is up 9.32% from 546.99 to 597.99. Now, this card actually does see a bit of play in Commander as a Commander itself, and I found one registered copy on MTG Goldfish. Next up on our winner section today is Archon of Cruelty from Modern Horizons 2. This Mythic is up 10.35% from 1063 to $11.73. Now, the showcase version of this card is about $9.91 on the market, so actually $2 less expensive than the regular copy. It is seeing a lot of play in Legacy Reanimator decks, and white, black, and modern, but also commander decks like Sephiris of the Hidden Ways. Next up on our list is another mythic. It is Demolik from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, and this card is up again today, 10.95% from 1023 to 1135. Now, the extended art version of this card is 1265 on the market, so about $1 more expensive than the regular copy. It is seeing a lot of play in modern, standard, and legacy, but in commander, it's seeing play in decks like Elsha of the Infinite and even. Curdle of Baldur's Gate. Next card on our list today is Phyrexian Arena. This is the 9th edition version of this card, and it is up 11.32% from 25.09 to 27.93. The cheapest version of this card came out in Mystery Boosters, and it's about 17.20 on the market, so $10 less expensive than the 9th edition version. This card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format index like Kalia of the Vast, Edgar Markov, and even Laisa Shroud of Dusk. Next up on our list is Savage Beating from Darksteel. This is on our list again, and it's up 11.75% from 27.50 to 30.73. Now, this actually pairs perfectly with Spellbinder. So basically, you imprint on it, and then you get to attack again and rinse and repeat, and that's why it's up on this list. But it also is seeing play in Commander like Tovalar, Dire Overlord, and even Narset Enlightened Master decks. And the next winner of the day is a Modern Horizons 2 card. It's Esper Sentinel, and this rare is up 13.43% today from 1266 to 1436. Now, the showcase version of this card with the sketch art is about 1564 on the market, so a dollar more expensive than the regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format, but the main reason why it's up actually is because of Modern and the deck Hammer Time. 
Our next winner of the day is Sphinx of the Second Sun from Commander Legends. This card is up again today, 17.83% from 628 to 740. Now, the extended art version of this card is about 691 on the market, so actually almost a dollar less expensive than the regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of play in the Commander format index like Xanathar Guild Kingpin, Asika God of the Tree, and even Joria of the Gitu. Our next card of the day is Gyre Reach Bandit from Shadows over Innistrad. This rare is up 24.71% from 425 to 530. As yes, we're seeing a lot of interest in werewolf mechanics in this upcoming set. Now this card is seeing play in the Commander Format Index like Earlrek of the Kralin Horde and even Xanagos God of Rebels. Our last winner of the day is Spellbinder from Darksteel, and this card is up again 35.09% from 322 to 435. And yes, this card pairs perfectly in a combo with Savage Beating, where you can imprint it and attack again, rinse and repeat. This card is currently seeing play in the Commander format in decks like Tovalar Dire Overlord with Savage Beating, and also Narset Enlightened Master and Wolfgar of the Icewing Dale. Now we're going to take a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. We are starting at list off here with Mantis Rider from Cons of Dark Year. This card is up 33.24% from 704 to $9.38. Next foil winner is Lure from Mercadian Mass. This old frame foil is up 34.95% from 741 to $10. Our next foil winner of the day is Masticor from Urza's Destiny. And this happens to also be a reserve list card. It's up 42.86% from $349.97 to $500. Mirror Sheen from Eventide. This card is up 66.33% from $496 to $825. Next up on the list is Weathered Wayfarer from 9th Edition. This card is up 67.39% from $30 to $50.20. Next foil winner is Assault Strobe from Scars of Mirrodin, and this common is up 93.26% from 282 to $5.45. And our next card is Incendiary from Urza's Destiny. This old frame foil is up 95.47% from $9.72 to $19. Our next card on the list is Guilt Feeder from Judgment. This rare old frame foil is up 101.13% from $7.93 to $15.95. Next card on our list is Sleeper's Guile from Urza's Legacy. This old frame foil is up 102.55% from $274 to $5.55. Our last foil winner of the day is Morality Shift from Judgment, and this rare old frame foil is up 119.07% from $1369 to $30. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Mark movies. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared on YouTube's algorithm? Yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform. Also, if you haven't joined Patreon, this is the best month to do it because at the end of this month, beginning of October, I will be doing the giveaway for four World Championship decks that I got out of my random buy. I put them together and they are ready to go. So please take a look at my Patreon. You can join at any level and you'll be included in the giveaway. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so we'll be back again tomorrow for another Magic Gathering Market Movers. And until then, have a great rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.